Let's see. Oh man, that is bright red. Uh, I'm not so. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Hello, y'all, and welcome back, survivors. We are late in the game playing Stranded Deep. This is version 7.5 Experimental. And we have been playing 40 days and one full day of chair time so far in this playthrough. Oh man, I wish they wouldn't put that in there. So let's jump right into it. We do have a few things to do today. I am enjoying the the uh, day X screen. That is that is pretty cool. The GTA loading style, as they said it, was nice as well. So maybe if you could like choose which one you you want, you know, since they already had the code for the other one, maybe not just throw it away. Maybe they could put that in like the options menu. That'd be cool. So we do need. Let's see. We do. Oh, you know what? It's on our raft. We do need our pickaxe here. In tools, excellent. And we also need our farming supplies because unfortunately all of our uh, our plants died on our great exploration. <laughs> Did not put enough water in those babies in any case. So we have a complete obliterated farming plot set up over here. <laughs> we got to get this fixed. Yeah, as you can see, everything's dead. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to take out our hoe here and clear all of these. And I did make a mistake when uh, when we came back from the Great Exploration and uh, saw all of these plants dead. Is What we should have done is we should have saved the spoiled resources. See how this says spoiled aloe plant and it hasn't uh, disappeared yet? I don't know why for that one in particular. Let's go ahead and clear these because that that's supposed to go away in your uh, once you save and everything unless it's still planted like this one so I don't know what's going on with that but all of the other ones disappeared on us but we could have used those to replant um, so that's kind of unfortunate because we're gonna have to find other resources but I do remember bam we do have a potato right here that we can go ahead and plant to be able to uh, farm for lovely fuel here in a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and pop that guy in give him some water two right there and let's go with the half right there and we'll go ahead and continue our little experiment that we never finished uh, because we didn't get back in time to check the results even though I'm sure everybody knows what the results are gonna be we'll go ahead and just continue it because uh, because I said I would <laughs> so we're just gonna add. oh yeah that's right you can't add any water into a farming plot without some stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab this stuff. Not enough room in inventory. I think I need food. Yeah. Nom nom. Excellent. So we'll just grab this because I don't really care if it dies in any case. This stuff uh, I don't really use. So we'll go ahead and put the ajuga in there. A spoiled aloe plant right in there. Notice how it just says aloe now. So you can use them. And boom. Another one there. Let's go ahead and fill these up. We'll put... Well that had one in it so there's two and that has one in it, there's two, and that has one in it, there's two. So we'll go ahead and leave these be and see which one drains the fastest. I think we all know which one that's gonna be. Why, why don't you just let me know down in the comments below, huh? <laughs> Let's see how trained you are in the ways of Stranded Deep. And I'm just gonna leave my little water skins right up on top so we know where they are at all times. That's always a good idea, fill these up here. Alright, so that's gonna do it for farming right now. Uh, we're just gonna let these be, and then once that potato ends up growing up, we'll end up replanting it into a new plot to get us two plots, and we'll just kind of build off it from there, unless we find some while we're scavenging, of course. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and scope out some awesome mining materials here. We gotta get some clay, because we want to definitely get this fuel still up. We fought so hard for that jerry can. <laughs> so we're gonna get this up. All we need is two clay for that little guy. Uh, but while we're at it, we might as well get enough clay for the furnace and the brick station. Not saying we're gonna put them up because I'm not sure how we wanna do this layout yet. I do have some resources for us to continue our castle in the sky up here. This awesome little monstrosity you see before you, which we're gonna be going up here in a second. But I'm not quite sure how I want to fence this off. I'm pretty sure I want to put one just right here because that'll be the least amount of resources. And then our other fence is so far this uh, farming plot. So we'll end up putting a building right in here. 
and we'll end up continuing either the farming plots if I need some more to the beach or we'll end up doing another like little fence extension or what have you. That way we have all of this uninterrupted uh, space as long as the animals don't spawn inside our space that we can come to and not have to worry about getting hit because <laughs> that does suck every now and then. You know, I didn't bring my binoculars. Let me go grab those. Alright, here we are. And I'm pretty sure I saw it right over here the last time. Yes! You see that little play node right there. We have another one right here. And then I don't think you guys can see it, but there's another one right here uh, that we can get to. And another little funny thing is you can actually hunt these seagulls <laughs> from the elevated position here quite easily as they pass by. Oh, there we go. Bam. <laughs> so that is an easy way for food, I guess. Uh, you could just poke them right out of the sky. We are going to add some like fish or some uh, some snares, some bird snares, and eventually some fishing traps because we're going to get that achievement to where we craft everything for sure in this uh, playthrough. We're going to get going on that, but it's been a little little slower than I'd like. But that is a nifty little trick. You can just poke them right out of the sky. Of course, if you want a more challenging uh, little endeavor, I suggest the bow and arrow. That is just a lot of fun to try to strike them out of the sky there. But we do have everything we need. Um, we're going to take our spears with us. And, oh, you know, I should have left those binoculars up on the top. But we'll take them with us for now, and I will uh, put those up there. That way we don't have to come back down every time we need the binoculars. And of course, some spears for defense this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let, let's fix that glitch already, right? You guys, you, you, you guys have enough time to uh, fi figure out the, <laughs> uh, the underwater spawning glitch. I don't, I don't get that. But we'll let those guys grow up so they become big bacon. So, uh, of course, these are all in the reef, so we're going to have to pick these one by one if we want to try to get all of the clay. Otherwise, you end up losing it too easily, but as long as you have the uh, the highlight item highlight on, then you should be okay, because it's a little easier to find. But man, look at this. We got, <laughs> we got one clay node top left there. And there's another clay node on, you know, middle right or so. Oh, we do need to watch out for sharks. This is kind of deep. So. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, buddy. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there's a, a crown of thorns starfish right there as well. We do need to take care of that. Get down, get down. And then, you know, being in the reefs like this, it is quite dangerous because you never know what is... Oh, my God. Oh, there he is! You son of a bee! He's right there, you guys see him? Oh, right there, that little, sp that spiky guy that's sticking out, that's kind of like white and brownish uh, in that pattern. That is another like sea urchin that gets us as well, and he's so much harder to see. Oh man. But luckily our health is up and up, so we don't really have to worry about it right now. You know what, I actually don't think we have any any uh, pp plant <laughs> that that could be an issue we might have to go scavenge for some pp plant here too but yeah mucho mucho clay dinero right here <laughs> there is plenty of clay um oh there's an eel right there but you know that's the nice thing about already being poisoned is uh you don't have to worry about being poisoned <laughs> can't get poison squared so we're good all right how much did that give us Four, eight, nine, ten. Wow, I think that's actually all we need. Um, I'm gonna harvest one more just in case, and then we'll get going. All right. Well, let's go ahead and check our our uh, PP stock. We we should probably check that to make sure later on we're not in a hurry to try to find some. Oh no, I don't see any here. Rut row. Okay, so that's uh that might be a problem. Um, we don't have any PP, pee -pee. and uh, let's grab a hammer because we're gonna need that. Uh, we might need to go on a little foraging trip for that because, yeah, we're not gonna be able to, uh, if we do get in a bind, we're not gonna be able to, to uh, get ourselves healed here. And the poisoning does start taking down your health now. It's not just like a, uh, a health stopper go or upper. 
uh, it's a health goer downer too now. So <laughs> we gotta watch out for that because it is gonna gradually start eating away at our health. So let's go ahead and just try to find a PP on our, that's a snake, on our island. And uh, if not, we're gonna have to, ooh, is that a spear? Very nice. Um, we're gonna have to make a trip to another island. And as if the sky knows it too, there is no PP on this island. <laughs> Sad face. Uh, and it's raining now. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to brave this uh, possible storm here on our awesome raft. This thing is like not gonna tip over, definitely in the uh, in the storm. Let's just drop that. I have plenty on the raft. Probably end up losing it now that I drop it. But let's just go ahead and head straight on over and hope that there's a PP there. Look how fast this thing is, like, right away, it just takes off. And we're going to be adding two more sails to this beast. This is going to be great. The Bermuda, great choice of name. All of, all of those were, were great choices of names. But this one definitely was a, a good winner. And I'm also trying to think if I want to put, like, the, the next two sails facing in the opposite directions. That way we can, uh, we can make sharper turns even quicker. Because it's fast pretty, you know, it's pretty for forwardly fast right now. Is that is that a way of saying that? I don't think that's a way of saying that right there. It's pretty fast going forward. <laughs> it's got some acceleration to it, but we don't have any uh, any side uh, acceleration. So if we put, you know, the, uh, the mast pointing out this way, we're going to be able to just raise those when we need to make tight turns around obstacles. You know, if I didn't know any better... Let's check my map out really quick. I think this might be an island we haven't hit yet. You know, I think it is. This is an island we haven't hit at all yet. Ooh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? We hit something. We hit something down there. <laughs> A little rock, I'm guessing. Yep, there he is. That is the problem with uh, with something so big, because now we got a merry-go-round. Alrighty then, so we're just gonna stop you right there. There is a shark right under us. Can he get behind us? Looks like he can. Oh, what a bummer. See, now if we had another one right here, we could do like another raft or uh, another sail right here. We could do some backup maneuvers right there. Um, oh, where'd he go? I don't see him. I don't see him. I hear the music. Music starting. Oh, there he is. We're good. Woo! God, this thing is huge. <laughs> okay, man, yeah, th this is a brand new island, which means uh, predators. So we're going to have to get our spears here and uh, take care of any would-be assassins. And all we need is PP, so we have enough space. That is all we're looking for. And if I find it before the animals, then uh, we should check the beach, actually. That's where it spawns. Uh, then we're out of here. Oh, shit, that scared the hell out of me, man. What are you doing there? Okay, I see one right there. I don't see the boar yet. He can charge us at any time, though. We gotta be careful. Um, I'm not seeing any PP. No PP, no PP. Oop, 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 oop. Nope, nothing. Oh, cloth, that's mighty tempting. Okay, little boar. Where's your dad? Oh, hey. Oh, whoa. They're all right here. Uh-oh. Get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. Boom. No, 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 no. Ah! Where's the other one? Okay, he doesn't see us now. Shit, son. Oh, man. Okay. Whew. How messed up are we? Oh no, we are pretty messed up, and I didn't bring any water. What an idiot. Get you, get you, get you. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. We are getting pretty strong. Three spears to take down a giant hog now. Oh, man, we are close to death, though. Oh, what, what was that? Damn it, a rock. Oh, if we don't get pee, -pee soon. Oh, man, we are not doing good. We need some water. Oh, come on, PP, where are you? It's getting dark. I can't see here in a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, man, that dropped, that dropped really quick. Come on, son, don't do this to me. Yeah, 
Okay, apparently I didn't bring any light source, so we're gonna we're gonna flare it up here. Let's see. Oh man, that is bright red. Uh, I'm not so oh, Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Die. Nice. One hit on the snake now, guys. That is no problem. Man, we're not gonna find any here, are we? It hasn't been that long. I haven't just been searching the entire time, I swear. Oh man, where are you? Okay. We're not gonna find any. Oh crap. <gasps> Here it is! Yes! Oh yes, I knew it! Yeah! Victory flare! <laughs> I knew that we had some around here. Alright, um. Get out of here. Okay. Don't need that flare gun anymore. We do need a coconut. Oh crap. Okay. Boom. Pick him up. Boom. Wait, wait. We don't need this. Get out of here. Um, now we need some lashing. Awesome. Very quick. Love it. I know, I know, I know. Why didn't I pick those up? <laughs> what an idiot. Where's the other one? There we go. Some rope. And that we can drink. We might as well. Always drink out of your coconut flask before you craft it. Because you're just losing the water. You might as well take it. Alright, excellent. Okay, now we can drink that. And how bad are we? Okay, we, we are doing pretty bad. Let's get back home and continue with what we wanted to do here. That's pretty cool. I just noticed that the flare is still going out there, and that makes that island look really cool. I'm gonna try to side dock it. Come on, buddy. Yeah, not. Yeah, well, yeah, straightens out. Oh, oh don't mess up our stuff. God. <laughs> just like ran over all of our stuff here. Alrighty. So let's get some, uh. Let's see, let's pull you off. Bam, there we go. Stay. Oh god, we are in desperate need of water here. Let's go check out our other water stills. Okay, so we also have to remember that the rain filled up these plots one more here, so which is really cool. You know, if you don't know that, the rain does what happened here? Is that Oh my potato is here, that's right. But yes, the rain does fill up your farming plots as a, uh, a little freebie, so that is really cool that they did add that in. But you can't rely on it. You cannot rely on the rain to keep your crops alive. <laughs> Alright, now that that crisis is averted, it only took a day <laughs> to get some clay. Oh man, if, when you get poisoned and you don't have that pee, pee crop, it really, really messes you up. So we're going to have to get that farmed right away. But we got our fuel still pinned up in the corner here. Got most of the items right in here. Now we just need... Where are you, Jerry Can? Boom. We only need one right now. Uh, so let's run on over and find us a spot to lay this baby down. So I'm thinking we're going to want to fill this area up with some stuff, you know, make it, you know, nice and, uh, and looking used. So we should probably put it somewhere around here. Um, that's why we do have our little tanning rack here. So maybe we could do this as like the, uh, little crafting area with the tanning rack, maybe a loom. And, uh, I think there's one more object we can use there. And we'll do the fuel still somewhere around here, which will be nice because it'll be close to our potatoes. So... I think maybe right here, huh? So the first thing we're going to have to do is get a, a fire going. So we actually have something to get the, the uh, fuel still on. Because it doesn't come with its own fire. You just have to... Uh, it, it only shows the fire pit, which you need, obviously, with a, an actual fire. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and craft the fire first. Let's go ahead and put that... Maybe like right here up on this mound, that's kind of nice. And then we need a ring of rocks around that, which is three stone. Boom. And now, that should do it. Now we just need the rest of the materials here. Two of those. Oh, rope. We forgot rope. Where are your rope? You know, it's over here. Yep, there she is. We need two rope. Bam. All right, now we have everything. And as you can see, everything is highlighted in white, so that means we can quick craft. Bam. 
fuel still, and we can rotate this too. Sweet. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, which way we probably want it. I guess we'll have it facing outwards. Like that? That, that makes more sense, right? Because we'd be walking up to it. Well, no, because we want to fill it from the jug. Yeah, yeah, so we'd want it like this. But I don't, I don't want the weeds like that. I want to see it. Ooh, this is perfect right here. Bam. I love it. It's perfect. Oh, it's so cool. So, we put the potatoes in here. The, uh, they, they get boiled out. Not exactly sure how this does work, but there's like a little line right here to where the, uh, the, the uh, whatever's boiled out, uh, the, the, like, potato vodka, I guess, <laughs> gets pumped through here or, or drips through here into this little canister, which gets distilled. Oh, no, there's one right here. Okay, no, so that goes from the bottom. I'm not quite sure what this one is for. Hmm. I don't know. It looks pretty complex, but very cool. So, of course, we don't have any potatoes right now to uh, actually plant in there. They are still growing. Probably going to need another day before those babies are ready. But I think I know what we can do. Let's build our gyrocopter. That way, when we have some fuel, we'll be able to take it out right away. And I think we have all the parts to put that baby together. I mean, we have a plethora of parts right here. Let's see, O2 flares, duct tape, gyro. All right, I know we're gonna need an engine and uh, I think two gyrocopter parts. I'd imagine we need a filter and a fuel part. That should probably be it. Maybe a battery too, right? Yeah, let's check it out. Let's see if I was right. That's gonna be in vehicles, of course. Gyrocopter. So first we need the gyrocopter base build it on this nice little platform right here. Bam, gyrocopter base. All right. Next, we need the gyrocopter seat, of course, because you can't just hang on for dear life. Gyrocopter motor. Excellent. That's going to go in the back. Excellent. Of course. Uh, cockpit, which is one battery. That's amazing. Can't believe she was able to make that out of a battery. That's pretty cool. Oh man. Okay, so I was close. We we're two parts shy here. We need one more gyrocopter part and one more vehicle engine part, or not a vehicle engine part, dummy. We need a. Uh, oh, there you are. A battery. Wow. Okay, so three gyrocopter parts. That's right. I completely forgot about that. We need three gyrocopter parts to make one gyro. Come on, buddy. Snap on in there. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I'm trying to make like some sort of an airplane. It's a gyrocopter, buddy. <laughs> there we go. All right, badass. Oh, I love it. I wish we could take it up right now. It's unfortunately, you know, we can't because uh, we don't have any fuel. So <laughs> we're gonna have to wait until that other potato gets going so we can. Uh, Put that into the fuel still and get some fuel so we can take it out on our first little voyage but we we need a platform for it anyways we got to get our gyrocopter little base going all right y'all that's gonna do it for us today uh short sweet and simple but very exciting i can't wait to be able to take this gyrocopter around and we can survey everything from a bird's eye view without cheating and going into sky mode which i still haven't done um I've never gone into it, and that seems really interesting. I can't wait to use those new save files to uh, to learn a few things myself that I didn't want to use, you know, obviously on on this game because I like playing for realsies. And uh, but I do like cheating now and then too. But since it only had one save file, you you had a choice: you either play for real or you cheat. Unless you wanted to go into your save files and, and save it into a new document and then create a new one and then switch that over whenever you want to play a new game it's so freaking confusing no thanks i just want to play but thank you developers for finally waking up <laughs> to knowing that people want to play multiple times in different fashions this is excellent this is really going to open up possibilities for us uh, but definitely down in the comments below let me know what you want to see in those save files and uh, start working on your own islands everyone because one of those files is going to be dedicated directly to your islands and uh, checking out your creation so make me suffer make the hardest islands you can <laughs> let's uh let's have some fun with it so like this video if you did enjoy it let me know down below how you feel and if you have any questions definitely hit me up in the discussion page everybody just remember, we were late in the game, but better late than never. Have a great play, everyone.